Hello, I'm Dr. Charles Solomon, author of Handbook to Happiness, published by Tyndall Ellis, with the original publication date being 1971. In 1967, God called me to minister to those suffering from such things as depression, anxiety, hopelessness, anorexia, rejection, symptoms now known as PTSD, suicidal ideation, panic attacks, defeat, sexual issues, addictions, and numerous other mental and emotional symptoms which are not caused by a physical or medical problem. However, I'm not a therapist, but I help a person understand how the Holy Spirit can be their onboard therapist 24-7 and apply the Word of God to their particular set of symptoms as they deal with the root problem, the self-centered life. It's going beyond knowing the Lord Jesus as Savior and Lord to having Him become our very life. Our staff at Grace Fellowship International, which I founded in 1969 with many spin-off ministries, has witnessed his transforming lives across the country and around the world in a number of languages. And we have trained people on all six continents. We're going to leave those on the Antarctica, the little guys in tuxedos, to someone else. Since the approach differs greatly from conventional psychotherapy, both in method and results, I documented it in my first book, Handbook to Happiness, from which to minister and teach others, with a book now published in nine languages. Since it illustrates powerful truths in Scripture centered in Romans 6 and Galatians 2.20, many have found freedom through reading it without counseling, except by the illumination of the Holy Spirit. Our approach to counseling is known as spiritual therapy or exchange life counseling, as contrasted with psychotherapy. Each of us has areas in our lives that need the Spirit's touch, and all of us have family or friends who suffer from mental or emotional or behavioral disorders to which the church should be ministering. The simplicity of the book and message allows one believer to share with another and see the Holy Spirit honor God's Word in the transformation of lives. Of course, the Spirit must do the work in our own lives before we can be used of God in the lives of others. It must be working at home before we try to export it. Some of the more desperate are set free in as little as one interview, since it is the ministry of the Spirit, and He performs miracles in short order once we are ready. Since our country is rapidly deteriorating, it is vital that each believer lays hold of the message of the cross, as spelled out in Galatians 2.20, and that the church is, as a whole embraces it. Christians lacking power result in our churches being all but emaciated as well. It is our purpose to assist the church with the symptoms already mentioned rather than regarding them as psychological problems needing the helping profession. I invite you to visit our website and the brief application for some of the major symptoms already mentioned, also posted on YouTube. The verse that most succinctly states our central message with which I will close is Galatians 2.20. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Those first five words, I am crucified with Christ, the Holy Spirit illuminated one night and trying to transform my life in a minute's time. So I recommend my therapist to you as able to solve your problems or symptoms in the very same way. God bless you.